then like people at 18 and 19 just think it's a joke and it isn't because it can kill you. And then I kept drinking and drinking and drinking and I collapsed in St John's School with a seizure. But that didn't stop me. Scotland has a massive alcohol problem and our aim really here at GAP is to try and reduce the harm associated with the use and misuse of alcohol. We also provide services for those who are drinking uh, at dependent levels who may need to stop, really there may not be any choice for them, they would have to stop drinking. I think the place is wonderful. I wouldn't have with it. So we provide counselling services, group work services, alternative therapies and really anything that will help somebody stop or cut down their alcohol use. So it was basically a lot of women together in mm -hmm. where we're getting different stories around alcohols. Alcohol misuse is costing Scotland 3.5 billion per year. About 12 months ago we managed to get some funding in that allowed us to do a three, three year study uh, and the results of that survey showed that for every one pound that we receive in funding we save the, the public purse in Scotland £10.17. They were very committed, very motivated, their, their professionalism, the quality of service they provide. I was really, really surprised for such a small project. Having the link with GAP allows people to get a, a much more comprehensive service at a very quick pace. Really, youngsters nowadays live in a virtual world. We spoke to young people in the primary schools and said, if we set up a Becky Booze Buster type service where you could ask over the internet health-related questions to do with alcohol, is this something that you would use? And the, the response from the young people was, yes, we would use that. Becky Booze Buster is a great way of engaging um, the young people in the thing. They really like the character and really respond to the character. However, if things were to get a bit more serious, then I would then engage with them as Vary and let them know I was Vary and a counsellor. The Young Booze Busters programme that goes into the primary school is all about informing young people. We have worked alongside YAP for many years now. We are very happy to have them in the school and feel they do a fantastic job for our pupils. Three role plays today. We have Native Americans and Cowboys. We have Vikings, the Viking Wedding, which we're really looking forward to seeing. And we have alcohol free cocktail role play. Our message is not don't drink, drink is bad. Our message is alcohol is out there, and you're surrounded by it. Uh, now is not the time to be drinking because your bodies aren't developed enough. They give them a fun and interactive way of learning about alcohol awareness and hopefully messages, lifelong messages for them. Scotland's problems are not just uh, located in areas like Easter House and it comes down to awareness, education. Uh, which is why we are so keen on trying to educate our young people, giving them the facts and the information now so that they're better informed in the future. Alcohol, bad or good? Yeah, bad. That is really bad for you if you start at a low age. Your liver can um, get damaged because the liver is the most important part. And you can get brain damage and you can also die. Even if grown up say this, they would realise that alcohol isn't good for you and um, that it's fun but it's still educating.